Welcome to another episode of the Iron Meditation, the art of living and lifting, where we connect the dots between the spiritual and the physical by life examples, case studies, and tools, examples, everything to make your journey more fun and easy. There is a thing that caused much damage in people's lives and um, made many good people to hop off the journey, whatever this journey might be, and it is the expectation of the results. And it, this is one of the most arrogant things we can do as humans, is to expect results and moreover demand results and here are two illustrations to show the point both are mine my first kettlebell sport championship was in 2017 we went to greece and i did my preparation i was really good i hoped for a score about 50 to 60 reps of a long cycle it was a very swift preparation four months and um, and we came, everything did as planned, I ate, like everything was fine, and I went for my warm-up run, as I usually do. And somehow, I don't know what happened, when I rang the bells, and it was double 24th, and I begin to lift, my quads kind of gave up. They became toxic. And obviously, I was very excited, and nervous because it's like the first and it was a like world championship and it was like it was an event and everything went out to the toilet and it was a point there was a point i almost placed the bell down on the floor like it wasn't the clean the bells went down and i remember this as it was today i kind of thinking about lowering myself, like hinging back, and then I saw my two kids, imaginary, obviously, standing near the judge and cheering me out, and I don't know how I wrecked them back up. I went out of the clean, and I continued my set, and I did like 49 reps or 39 reps. I don't remember now. I grinded through with my legs, completely trashed and toxic. Now, I have was lifting kettlebell for about a decade and never, never my legs gave up. Everything else have never my legs and boom. Okay, and I finished the set, 10 minutes, I placed the bells, beaming with happiness that I didn't put them down. Now, the second event went on the 2021st uh, World Championship Kettlebell Marathon, IKMF. I prepared myself for Kettlebell Snatch, one hour, and I, again, expected, and I should have had uh, my training to go above 800. And so I came, everything was great, and the preparation and everything, and the flight, it was COVID. So obviously, I was kind of nervous with the flights and everything but everything went just great and on the day of the competition like my event i was the first to go i believe it was the first flight so i entered the gym ready to warm up and beginning to lift and the organizer um, comes to me and said listen you better check israel because they said they're closing the borders uh, because of covid and i'm just fuck for a lack of a better term. First, I don't need that information now. I came to compete. And my event is due. I'm not going to take a cab and go to the airport or whatever. I came here for one fucking hour of snatches. This is what I've been doing for the last six months. Like, don't tell me that shit. Now, obviously, the man meant very best. Uh, the damage was done, obviously, because... Regardless of how zenish I tried to be and saying like, yeah, I'll deal with it later, it eats you up from inside. Like a small fly inside your head buzzing like shit. Like, what are you going to do? If the borders are closed, 
how much money do you have? Can you stay in France? France is not cheap. And I kind of to manage to like push it off and I wrote a client of mine and he told me like, don't worry. It's for the for foreign citizens. Since you're Israeli, you can go, like you can return easily, no problem. I said, all right, fine. So I'm warming up and then a pretty lady comes to me. She was a competitor too. And she asks me, you're warming for the snatch? I said, yeah. She said, yeah, they delayed the flight because there was a mess with the prizes last night and the printer didn't work. So they're doing it now and the event will start in about an hour and a half. And I am fuck again, for lack of better term, because like, what am I supposed to do with food, with everything, everything went. I did not expect this again. So it went like this. And when I got on the platform, obviously, it was a different ex uh, experience for me. I've planned to change every minute. It didn't go as well because the clock and like everything went not as I planned. However, I finished happy with my result, content, uh, didn't tear my hands and did my best. So you see, there are like, here are two examples of how life intervenes regardless of our expectations or preparations. So, as Krishna instructed Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu book, said, we do not owe the fruits of our labor, only our labor. And I'm misquoting, but this is the sentence, which is exactly it. The only thing we can and should take responsibility is the level of our preparation, of our work, of depth, intensity, intentionality uh, of our practice. Everything beyond that that will happen is beyond our reach. So expecting, as I said, is the most eager thing we can do. However, the other part of the same coin is to hope for results. Doing some shit, for the lack of a better term, and saying, yeah, everything will be fine, like something will happen. Well, something will, and it's probably not what we wanted in the first place. So let's take the middle way, as suggested by Buddha is doing the best of what we can with good coaching and good preparation, expecting and planning the results and the outcomes, not hoping for them, but not expecting, aka demanding them in a very rigid, childish manner that, okay, if something goes wrong, I'm not playing the game, I quit, and I'm sitting there pissed uh, on the universe, whatever. Good people, think about it. Act upon it. And again, the one uh, discipline that teaches it best is kettlebell sport because you have no choice with every set that you plan and you expect and is written however you're happy with what you have sometimes you underscore sometimes you overscore and but as always you and we did our best cheers enjoy train smart and I'll meet you in the next episode.